Hey guys, Alien Sama back with another NECA episode, and today we have another Jaeger. My poor kaijus are now outnumbered because I only have um, axe head or knife head and the Otachi kaiju, the flying one. So now we have three Jaegers, and this one's name is Horizon Brave. I bought it mm, pretty much because it looks very identical or very similar to the Excalibur from Robotech slash Macross, depending on what you watched or played, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> the other figures you can get out of this collection is Battle at the Docks, Gypsy Danger, and... Romeo Blue, which, once again, I will not be buying that one because it looks funny. So let's open him up and get a closer look. Apparently he has projectile uh, parts, so it can shoot things at people. <laughs> Yay! Why they decided to add that feature, I'll never know. Urgh. And of course... It's been a while since I've seen this type of shit. Back in twist eyes. Oh my god. What? Whoever did these fucking hated their job. I'm pretty sure they tied these in a knot. Okay. That looks hilarious. So these are the projectiles that come with it. That you can shoot at people's heads and piss them off. Here. There we go. Oh, here's the button. <laughs> yeah, boob launching action. Even though they're next to its head. Oh, oh, you can take those missiles off. Well then, the more you learn. <clears throat> or maybe it's not supposed to come off. Hmm. I don't know. I don't even remember seeing this um, Jaeger in the movie. How did it go on? That's the better question. Mm. Mm. There you go. <clears throat> The here it is. So, like all the other ones, and like most NECA figures, they are fairly poseable. Of course, it is a machine and slash robot slash thing slash. It can only bend so much. It's not like it's an Ava unit where it can bend as much as it pleases, but it is fairly flexible. It's got knee joints. Uh, of course, the rotary. Um, hip joint. I think it has a pelvis joint. Yes. Oh wow, it's got actually a really nice pelvis joint. That is smart. So it's got a ball in here which allows it to bend like this, swivel side to side. <clears throat> um, I'm going. Oh, oh, its head actually is posable. Oh wow, they actually did a really good job on this one. It makes me kind of want to buy maybe the Gypsy for the broken ship. Because they're from the same series, and I'm going to hope that they're just as flexible. But yeah, this guy's little head comes out of hiding. And it is oddly... Well, I guess it... Oh, Jesus. I guess if this piece can come off... Yeah. His head can rotate. Or its head. Everything's a he. Or a she. Vehicles... Vehicles are she's. And apparently robots are he. <clears throat> so that's actually really awesome. It's quite flexible, despite its very chunkiness. Out of all the um, Jaegers I have, this one's probably the most poseable. How about its toes? Toes? Uh, okay. 
The toes do not have joints, but they are, um, as you can see, flexible just because they're made of plastic. But I would not force it. <clears throat> For the most part, it just has an ankle joint. It does, none of the toes are actually f um, posable, or supposed to be posable. So this guy is really cool. Other than the fact, for the reason that I bought him, that he looks like the um, Excalibur. It, on its own, as its own thing, is actually really cool. And I love how flexible it is. Especially this waist joint. Good job, NECA. You came up with something better than your crappy other... Um, waist joint that you put on almost everything that breaks a lot. Burr, burr, burr. So, um, I'm going to guess this comes off. NECA's figures never really come with like a hey, this is how it works, this is what it does. It's just like here's a toy and you can figure it out and break it while you're doing it. But it has these two pieces here which aren't anywhere on here. So I'm assuming that's just a natural pattern in the machine. Anyway. I guess I'll have to watch the movie again to see if, like, this piece actually goes... <clears throat> and then, as you saw in the beginning... To fire the stupid missiles, you push these little things here. Yeah! Breaking shit. Hitting glass. And then it looks like that. It actually looks pretty good still. Um, for projectile toys, or at least toys with projectiles, this is probably one of the better ones I've seen, because usually the projectile slash missile that comes with most figures and toys is this obnoxious neon slash see-through color. Transformers is notorious for having ugly weapons with ugly projectiles. <clears throat> Oops. But this one, the projectiles, the gun, the trigger, on the figure, all of it blends in. So it just looks like one thing. You can't, uh, I guess you can tell, but you, you can't, it's not obvious that this thing has um, shooting pieces. It's not, it's not like, oh god, here's the ugly gun that comes with this that I'll never use or put on it. <clears throat> I have a feeling his elbow can bend backwards more than forwards. Ah, uh, yep. Good job. Ah! You know what? Just for the heck of it, I'm going to rotate his arms so they're backwards. So we do have more flexibility. Because this is how it naturally goes, which isn't flexible at all. And then if you rotate it, it's like full arm motion. Or, you know, where your arm bends like this. <laughs> ha ha, NECA, you suck. <clears throat> I made your toy better by breaking it. Well, not really breaking it, but whatever. So I guess that's it for this unboxing video for another episode of NECA. NECA makes awesomely detailed stuff. Their Kaijus and their Jaegers are one of their better things, I would say. Their alien stuff, meh. It looks good, but it's pretty much all repaint, so. God damn it. But I still buy them. So, that's it for this unboxing video. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, thank you for joining us in another video. Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and all that stuff is in the description box below. As always, be sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe, and leave a wicked comment. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys. Bye.